GM, this is your Solana Debrief. It's the 27th of Jan, and things are going to be very, very hot in coming days for Dupe. Now, we'll cover this more exclusively or more in depth before the 31st, so probably on the 30th as an example. However, when Dupe launches on chain, it's going to go crazy. So, on the Solana blockchain, you probably won't get the best prices immediately for your Dupe. This is what happened with the JTO token, and it may or it probably is going to happen the same with Jupe. I would suggest opening up a Bybit account if you're eligible. Unfortunately, those in the US and some other countries, you are not able to get a Bybit account. I'll have a little referral link below. You can click on that if you like. Entirely up to you. Next up, we've got Symbol. Now, Symbol is a fantastic product just in general. I'll show you the Block Explorer in a second, and I will create a tutorial on it. It is the best thing for finding out NFTs like who owns them and stuff like that. But what they've built is a new game. It's called Popcorn Royale. And they had a few of these Royales on Solana and now they've moved across to base. And these are really, really fun. I actually won one a little while ago, like last year, almost a year ago. So this is now live. I want people to actually jump into this. So it's essentially free. So let's join the fun here. I'll have a little referral link. You're welcome to use that. And then this is basically how it goes. So you can claim your free popcorn piece and the last one that will pop will win $7,500. It starts on the 27th and I believe um, you've got until about the 29th and then I think it's until February the 2nd or thereabouts and by that time it will be the last one popping. So how does this work? Well, this is actually an NFT and then it can be kind of made invalid on chain in a sense. So it's kind of like a raffle ticket and then the last one is the one that wins. So what tends to happen is people start to go and buy these from OpenSea. So let's just jump into this quickly. Now, firstly, you can actually do this entirely for free if you verify your phone. Some people are happy to do that. Other people don't, in which case you need to get yourself a Coinbase wallet. You'll start off though by connecting X to play. I've already done that, so I'm good. Then you need to follow these two accounts. I've followed the accounts. You can use your phone or use my own wallet and Phantom comes up here, but Phantom doesn't actually support base. So this is for other things in the website, not for base. So you cannot use Phantom for base. You can use these ones, but Coinbase Wallet is probably the best one for base. So if we just click on this one, it doesn't kind of allow us to install it. So instead, we'll just open a new tab and I'll just search for Coinbase Wallet. And this is it here, Coinbase Wallet. And then just go ahead and download the Coinbase Wallet. Download for Chrome or whatever you want add to Brave, add extension. And of course, your secret recovery phrase that we will generate in a second, you'll keep that nice and safe. But I'll just quickly show you it here. We'll pin it here. It's now pinned. We'll create a new wallet. This is the recovery phrase. Now I just need to click the first and last word. So tree was the first and super was the last. Submit. Now we need to put in a good password. So there we are and submit. So this is our wallet. We won't worry about that. Essentially, this works with Ethereum and other networks, but what we want is we want to have some Ethereum on here. Not much, only like a couple of dollars worth of Ethereum will be fine. And we need to either buy that in app or we can transfer from another wallet, which would be our Ethereum address right here. So we'd copy this right here. We cannot get it from Solana onto Ethereum. So you need to go and use something such as Coinbase and withdraw your Ethereum onto this. Or you can use the base bridge, which is just bridge.base.org to go from Ethereum to base. And then you just go and you claim your popcorn and good luck to you. And I'll link this below as well. But if you want to go and buy more popcorns, you can go and you can buy them. They're selling for a little bit of a premium right now, uh, which is cool, fine. But what I am kind of suggesting with this is basically go and use it but then get your normies onboarded very gently. Just use their phone number and then they're in. If they end up winning $7,500, then they owe you dinner and maybe they can go and buy some ETH or more importantly, some Soul, which of course they'll stake with validator.com. So don't fade symbol and then have a little look around because it's such a clean UI for everything and you can pick whatever chain you want to be on. But I'm going to go over this in another tutorial in less than a week. Now, on to when news. So yesterday, when took off, of course, and the price has gone up, 
So good luck if you got some of your WEN. More importantly though, people need to be using multiple wallets across the ecosystem for different things. And then hopefully that qualifies them for opportunities like this in the future. Now, yesterday there was over 265,000 users that use Jupe. Sang says we want to 10x this at least. Now this is the number of individual addresses as far as I'm aware. And me personally, I had over 40 addresses. So I would say maybe we had 30 to 50,000 active users, but either way, that's fantastic. Now, a lot of people would only have one wallet. Not everyone's been around kind of degening and making tutorials and stuff and making all these tutorials is now starting to be nice and rewarding because I can claim this. I have, just so you know, I've claimed some of mine, but then I've also sold some of mine. A crazy thing about this when launch, in case you notice, you know, a little bit of delay or some difficulty was like, it was crazy. Uh, there's 1.2 billion total requests. Now a huge number of this would be from bots. Unfortunately, just the nature of it. 21 terabytes worth of data served. So that's insane. And 68.86 million unique visitors. Once again, probably 50 million would be from bots. But either way, this is insane. This is really insane. And I don't know about this being all from bots. I know there are a lot of active people in the ecosystem. There's lots of holders of this uh, particular token. And just to be, yeah, Meow already says it's probably a ton of bots, of course. Just to be completely clear with narratives, everyone should be following Meow. And whatever he kind of tweets, it's going to go nice, nice and vertical, in my opinion. Now, it doesn't mean Jupe's going to go to $5 or anything like that. But just be watching him. He's like, everything that he's putting out is getting huge engagement and there's just like a loyal following. So anything that Jupe is going to touch now will turn to gold, in my opinion. Now on the bot side of things, it more well, he's rated it as a four out of 10. I would say what they set up was certainly better than anyone else, but by all means, like you can't actually get rid of bots. It's really hard. You also need bots to keep arbitrage there. So, you know, things don't go out of balance. At the same time, Nansim, I won't show what he did, but he put in like 100K and it's worth over a million dollars, right? So like he is the best botter on Solana and all he's really doing is he's just extracting value from the ecosystem. So this is the unfortunate thing. He's extracting value. He's winning and congratulations. Like, you know, take some of that soul stake with validator.com by all means. Like, you know, you're still providing a service to the ecosystem. And then at the same time, all we need to do is create dApps that make it harder to bot. Just the nature of the blockchain. This happens on all blockchains, just so you're aware. But overall, the fact that they are so aggressive in trying to mitigate this is very, very impressive. Now, yesterday, Phantom had a huge amount of difficulties. I won't lie, big Phantom bull hair, um, but they definitely had a, quite a decent amount of struggle. Now, they are working overtime to make sure the dupe airdrop goes smoothly, and I do anticipate that it will be smooth. What I do want to point out, of course, is there are alternatives, Soul Flare and Backpack. By all means, have one or the other installed, and maybe this is your backup wallet. I want to be very, very clear that it should be your backup wallet, because it's not as good, in my opinion, as Phantom in any way. One thing is, though, Phantom probably had 100 times the demand. I'm not throwing shade at either of these wallets. I know Soulflare is doing really well and Backpack's doing really well, but I know from being very familiar with wallets and knowing what the next 100 million people want, and I know that these guys are not catering to it yet. Another great thing is Phantom with Blowfish basically blocked this scam website, connect-wenwencoin.com. So if you had have actually confirmed this transaction, your wallet would have been drained. Not sure if that's live in Soulflare or Backpack. Hopefully it is. Also, just a reminder, there's going to be so many scam attempts. It's just the nature of things. So when WEM coin, just block them, move on, and just be very, very aggressive with following the right people and always just using the right accounts. Now, Gumshoe has a WEN strategy deposited into Meteora DLMM vaults. I'll cover this in a tutorial once I understand it a little bit more properly. Just be aware that uh, doing this, you're more than welcome to do it, but you're probably going to lose out a little bit. $200 worth of win in USDC, made $37 in under an hour. But you know what? At the same time, 
the price of when, I'm not sure exactly what time this actually happened, but when doubled. At one stage, when doubled in price. So if you had $200 worth of when, it would then be worth $400. Instead, you've now got $237. So just be aware of a permanent loss and all those sort of risks. Of course, you can provide liquidity. This is healthy for an ecosystem. It's required, but just keep in mind. Now, mentions the fact of points. Points are not live yet, so disregard that for now. But of course, I would encourage everyone to play around with this. You're more than welcome to wait a couple of days until I get that tutorial sorted though. Whales market, I'm loving as well. I'm thinking about making a tutorial on this, but I showed it a couple of times in my when video. But basically, you can buy things pre-sale in a sense, and they did $850,000 in volume and they created $10,000 in fees, which is very good for their runway and their team and whatnot. And let me just see if I can work it all out. I think closed maybe, when. One thing is like the website did slow down a little bit just because it got very, very busy. And I sold some of my tokens on this before they were available. And it, it worked really well. It slowed down as I mentioned, but it worked really, really well. It's not too difficult to work out, but if you want to wait for my tutorial, you're more than welcome to do so. That would be my suggestion, just so we can kind of cover everything and go through all the different features. But put this on your radar. If you don't want to sell your WEN, you can lend it into MarginFi, so the temptation is gone. I have no idea what the WEN market price is for actually getting, you know, a bit of return. Let's see if we can work this out. We have to click down here. Fine. I don't mind MarginFi. I don't love it. People are here because of the airdrop. I think Solin is probably a better bet, to be honest, but completely up to you. So I've just gone for light. You need to go to pro mode and then let's have a look and see where it is because there isn't a search function or anything like that. So we can just come down when. All right, so the APY is 0%. So there's no point in my opinion in actually putting it into this pool because then you're exposing yourself to liquidity risk. But you can keep an eye on it. So you're getting 0% APY, so it's not worth the smart contract risk at the moment. If this starts to go up a little bit higher, or if you just want to get some points, maybe. If you get points for it, I don't know if you do get points, then you may want to jump into uh, depositing your win. Win is now live on Camino. This would be worth doing for sure. And I've covered how to do vaults and stuff in the past, so we won't cover this again. But of course, impairment loss, it's a risk, but at least it's all been managed by Camino, so you don't have to worry because Meteora is a lot more difficult. You can't just kind of set it and forget. You need to tune in and work out how it's all going, and you need to claim fees and redeposit into the pool, and there's a few steps involved. Parcel Points Season 2 is here. It says the current points program to end with a grand finale third season, so um, there's also some new details here. The easiest thing is just to put some USDC into the liquidity pools. But, of course, go and do some trading if you want to, long and short the markets. And if you like, use my referral, Seb Monty. And you can also go and grab one of these NFTs to get a little bit of a boost. Now, the floor price is like 13 sol. Not every decision I make will be good, but I would say buying one of these for 13 sol for the boost in points, it's probably not going to be worth it you're probably better off to use that and just put in $1,300 worth of USDC. Not financial advice, just kind of my idea. Now, of course, if you're active in the markets, then this gives you access to other parts of the Discord, and that's where you can extract the value. Famous Foxes are doing rune giveaways. Five winners, one common rune each. End soon. Follow, like, retweet, reply with the correct answer. Very easy. I believe it's four. So go and add something clever and reply, like, and retweet, repost. Good luck. May you get a rune. Now, one thing that we like to see is liquidity coming into our ecosystem. So we've got a huge amount coming from Arbitrum to Solana and Polygon to Solana, and then some from Solana to Polygon. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't want to shield stuff, but wherever there is expected value, you're more than welcome to go. So there'll be some things on Polygon that are worthwhile. Go for it. Of course, most of my time is spent on Solana. I feel it has the most amount of value. 
and you can see that money's coming in, but money will go where it's treated best. So where there's expected gain or there's the potential for higher interest rates, that's where it will go. And at the moment, that is Solana. Now, finally, for weeks, I've been telling you about the Barrows. I'm going to kind of slow down reporting on this for the time being because uh, the floor price is kind of crazy. And there were over 50,000 raffle tickets. So the only place to get one now is at Tensor.Trade. Now, the Mint will be February the 2nd. It will be the whitelist token plus 3.69 Sol. And just be aware that the 50,000 tickets, they were for 240 whitelist tokens. And none of that money went to the barrows. It was all just on-chain. And you can, if you bought some of those tickets, you can burn them. I'll do a little tutorial uh, maybe Monday. So just keep them in your wallet until Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll show you how you can burn them and reclaim some of that soul. There were smart people. One really smart person bought 4,000 tickets. So it's 10 tickets per wallet. So he had 400 wallets and ended up getting 19 of these whitelist tokens. I believe he's just going to sit on most of them, if not all of them, for now anyway. He exposed himself to a huge amount of risk, 140 soul worth. And now, you know, he can reap the rewards. So that was definitely a big brain move. And I didn't go for too many just because I was a little bit scared. The floor price is 32 sol. So pretty expensive. I did say early on months ago that these will be a 50 sol minimum floor. They're not there yet. They shouldn't be there yet. I said within two months. If you are looking to join a small boutique group, like a country club for Web3, then you may want to consider something like this. That's all for today. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you back here on Monday.